Good evening, everyone. Bruce here. And tonight we're going to talk a little bit about how to do plate solving and use PhD2 to do accurate star tracking. Plate solving is a technique and a mechanism whereby one can take a picture of the sky and then use it to confirm the location of the telescope. So let's say you're thinking you're pointing at the star Arcturus, but in reality, you're sort of pointing a little bit away from Arcturus. With plate solving, the system will actually take a picture confirm your location, and then slew or move the telescope so that it actually finds our tourist. And it'll keep doing this over and over again until it perfectly aligns it every single time. We're starting this off now when it's still daylight out because of course later on tonight, it will be totally dark. So let's regroup later on tonight and see how successful we are. Bye for now. Good evening, everyone. Okay, it's about 10.15 on June 20th, the longest day of the year. As you can see, it's now quite dark outside, or at least it's getting there. It still probably has another 45 minutes to get truly dark. Uh, I am gonna turn off this bright white light because I can't see much else with it on. But before I do that, I'm gonna just show you the setup that I have here, which is a lot different than what we have in Colorian. Uh, let me just turn it over there. There you go. So you can see the telescope I use is a very small telescope. It's kind of in its park position right now. And on top of it, the black one over there, is the small finder scope, kind of like the white refractor that you will be using. But the white refractor here is the equivalent of the main telescope that you have. Okay, so we're going to put that down, turn off the white light altogether, and I probably will turn up my video and share my screen. So one moment, please, while I share screen. So this is APT, you're quite used to this, with telescopes in its park position. And I'm actually going to confirm my settings. Everything looks good here. It's not like shooting at 3200. I'm like shooting at two seconds to start. This is Toronto. You can't tend to get more than a two second exposure anyway. So uh, let's just go for two seconds, take a shot, see how that looks. So there's my first shot. Looks fine, great, whatever. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at. I just turned the telescope on. And I'm gonna go to the gear tab. And we're going to use point craft. So you can see point craft here. So can normally we start from camera tab. I'm going to shift one over to gear tab and click on point craft. Now this is going to assume that you already have things set up called as tab. So let's not worry about it if you don't. Uh, I'm going to try doing something called a blind solve. Now this may not work. If it doesn't, we'll just try to do something a little differently, but I'm going to click on blind. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the picture you currently see on the screen and it's going to try to figure out where in the sky it's going to be. Where could that picture possibly be? Now think about it. There could be a million different combinations and angles and orientations that I've chosen. The telescope to view right now, I don't know. Just like if you've rolled off the dome and opened it up, we don't necessarily know where the telescope is pointing in terms of the stars. The stars are constantly rotating around us. So let me try blind solve, and it's going to go off and try to figure that out. And it may not succeed. That's okay if it doesn't. Live and learn. It's working hard. But it did find the right image. And here's the cool thing. Right now, it is already calculated based on this, this picture. It's compared it to a massive database of all possible configurations of stars that match this in the sky, and it found the coordinates it's pointing at. I didn't type this in anyway. It actually calculated that automatically. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is find my first object. So I'm going to choose down here in this tab here, I'm going to choose Arcturus. So basically, this tab is only the first time you use it. You typically use this type just to tell the telescope where it currently is. Then down from that point forwards, you use this bottom tab section here to find objects. Okay, so let's first of all find our chairs. Yeah, it's going to load up a big database, so this could take a little while. And what plate solving will do is it will calculate the coordinates of the object I want to find. And it calculates how far away that is from the object I did find. So here's my database of objects. I'm going to click on stars. And I'm going to go and click in here, Arcturus. And search. And there it is. Okay. So I'm going to say, okay. And you see right now in this bottom section, it's blank. As soon as I click it, it's going to put Arcturus's coordinates in. So the telescope knows that I'm currently pointing here. And it also knows that I'm going to want to go to here. I'm going to hit this go to plus plus. And what it's going to do is gradually, incrementally, in less than five steps, perfectly put Arcturus dead center. And you'll see that down here, the status of that. So let's just hit go to plus plus.
Okay, so we move the telescope. We're going to take another picture, and you'll see this. It's about a different area of the sky. And down here, it says it's going to try to solve it. And it's going to say, "Oh, I'm wrong. Step one of five. I'm off by eight thousand three hundred and fifty-eight bitworths." Okay, I better do another picture. So we're moving the telescope now. Take another picture. Oh, look, there's a bright star and it's reddish. I'm suspicious that's probably our tourists. And we'll calculate how far away it is here. Now it says it's only 1303 pixels away. Moving the telescope again. It's very close now. It's only about, uh, I don't know, probably 40, 50 pixels away, maybe, maybe a bit more, I'm not sure. 121. Okay. So moving telescope again. Now, I'm not doing any of this. This is actually doing it all by itself. And at this point in time, if this had been in the refractor, which is what we use in Killarney to find our objects, this is pretty darn accurate. It's centered on by itself. Okay. So now I'm going to sync the object. Okay. So I'm synced. So I should be exactly here, and the system knows that's where I am. Okay. Let's go find a messy object. Let's try M13. We talked about that earlier. Um, this one should be a little easier for it to find. So let me go down to objects again. I've been in 13. There it is. Okay. Now the telescope is moving. And it's slowed down now. It's going to settle for a few seconds and then maybe in about two or three more seconds, take its picture. No, oh, I see M13, it's down in this part of the sky over here. Moving the telescope again, probably stopped. And again, now we're getting closer and closer. At this point, we are only a few, 100 pixels off, 261 pixels. And it's dead center. It's going to say go to plus plus finished. All right, so now I take the magnifier out. And you can't even see, but M13 is right in the middle there. I'm just going to show you the great dead center. Right? It doesn't get better than that.